I'm a first time puppy owner, but girl, you will call me an expert now. Hey guys, it's Sheree and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an update video on my puppy, Chico. You can see him, he's right here. Um, so he's about four months old now. He's gotten so big since the last time. I mean, he's still so little, but he's gotten way bigger. Tico, why are you being so crazy? Yeah, so I just kind of want to update Chico. He always likes to buy my sweaters when I wear it. Hey, look. Okay, so I just want to update you guys on, like, the products and, well, food brands and, what's it called? Um... Like treats and toys and just what he's been up to and like how he acts now and if he's calmed down a little bit. If you guys are asking that, no, they do not calm down yet. So yeah, I just want to update you guys on what I've been doing and what has been working. So let's just get started. Okay, so first things first, I've changed his food. So I do part, I do like a fourth a cup of dry food and then like a tablespoon of wet food. And I've I'm using this brand right now. He really likes it. So the wet food is the puppy one. I'll insert a picture like right here of the can that I use. So yeah, I do like one fourth cup of this. And then, the game is all excited. And then like a tablespoon of the wet food. And mix it together. And he usually eats that three times a day. And then he gets like little treats and stuff here and there. Is that your food? So there's that. Um, for puppies, these little bones are the best. I mean, we have this one's a little rubber one and it squeaks, and this one's like a more like tougher one. And I feel like this is good for his teeth. He really likes it. We also have a blue one that's kind of like this, like the spike, like how it has a little like texture, spiky stuff. But it's like in a hard bone like this, and he really likes it too. So. These are essentials for your puppy because he's going to be, or he or she is going to be biting a lot because they're teething. So, um, you can hear his little bell. They're going to be teething a lot, so they're going to be trying to bite your ankles, your feet, your your hands, your clothes, like everything. So just kind of like switch out, and like give them a bone and like tell them like that's what they're supposed to be chewing, not you. So yeah. And then he also really loves these bones, but you have to be careful with these ones. I think when it gets towards the end, um, he kind of likes to eat it super fast, and I'm scared he's going to choke on it, and I think he almost choked on it before. So yeah, just watch him if you get these, but they do really enjoy them. Um, I also give him these, so these are little like treats. They're kind of like little bones. But these ones are really good because he doesn't choke on these ones and he likes to eat them. So yeah. And I get the ones for extra small breeds because he is obviously a puppy and he's a small breed. Oh, another essential. You're going to need like these bags. I would suggest going to Ross or like TJ Maxx. Like one of those places that they'll sell these for cheaper. I got a whole pack of them of eight I think for... Four dollars or three dollars or something, but at Petco they're like twelve and up. Like it ranges from like what colors and what what designs and all that stuff. So I would suggest going to Ross and just paying the four dollars. I mean they're poop bags. You don't need cute ones. So there's that. We still are potty trading him. So I mean he does when he wants to. Like I always have mats laying around, so sometimes he'll go to the mat and like pee and poop on them, but then sometimes he does it on the floor still, so we're still trying to like get in the habit of doing it on the mat. If you guys have any suggestions on how you guys do that, let me know because I need some help on potty training my puppy because he is stubborn and he just does what he wants. Um, and I would suggest too, like when you first get him, I got a little, this is a little cat collar because it has a little bell. The only thing is like these are, you can't really walk your dog with these. I wouldn't want to walk my dog with the collar anyways because, I mean, it might choke him. But these are just like a, the clasp isn't as tight as like a dog clasp. So, he is just so excited. So this pet came with two collars. When we first got him, he like would like scratch it because he was just like, oh, I don't like this thing. So, um... It got all messed up, so I had to buy another one. So just keep that in mind when you first get them. They're going to be obviously not knowing what's on their neck because they're not used to something like that. 
So like get the little cheap one first because they're gonna mess it up probably. Well my dog did, so I had to even have I even had to buy another one. So there's that. Well, I mean we gave one to my cat, that's why I had to buy another one. Otherwise that one came with two, so you could have just use one for when they first get it and then use the other one when they're like used to it already. Because now he's like used to it, he doesn't really care. He doesn't mind it. And for like the first What's it called? The first two shots, he wasn't able to go outside, but now he could go outside. But now he can go outside, so I got him a little harness. So I had to get, my boyfriend convinced me, I don't know how, to get a small one. He's like, the extra small one looks too small, like he looks kind of big. And I was just like, okay, fine, whatever. Because I thought he needed an extra small one. So I got home, and I put it on him, and it was too big. So the small one is way too big for him. I had to get the extra small one, and they do adjust, they get bigger, so, yeah, the extra small one is pretty good. I just got this red one, this little cheap one for now, and it works really well, and then I got a matching leash, so when I first brought him outside, he was kind of scared, like, he didn't want to walk, he's just kind of sniffing the floor, and he's like, what is going on, you know, like, he wasn't used to going outside, but now he's getting the hang of it, walking, smelling, he doesn't walk very far, he stays, like, in my front yard, and I just, like, walk him around there, um, we haven't took him like on an actual walk because he is just not there yet. He doesn't know how to walk outside. But yeah, we're teaching him. We're trying. So yeah. What else do I want to update you guys on? Also, his ear has been like, he's been itching his ear. So I've been, I wanted to get this. I recently just started doing this because I saw that he's been itching his ear a lot. So this is an ear relief wash and the ear relief dry. So it helps with that itchy, like cleans their ears. They're like little droplets and you just drop them in his ear. I mean, he doesn't really like it, but I mean, he needs to do it. I need to do it because so he could stop itching his ear and make him feel better. Okay. Oh yeah. And he got his first haircut. I got him his first haircut when I noticed that his like, like his stomach area, the hair was really long and around his butt, so like obviously the poop and then the pee was like getting on him and then he was just smelling like really fast. So I took him, took him to the groomer, I think they have to have their at least the first two shots, so he had the three, like all three shots when I um, decided to take him. So I had them do like a sanitary cleaning and just like an easy puppy trim like over the face, over the paws. They didn't cut the hair on his back or anything yet. They said that usually when they're too young, they don't suggest doing that yet just because their hair is still growing and they don't want the texture of his hair to change. So I told him to just leave it and that next time we'll get, like, we'll trim up the, um, what is it called? His back and stuff. So, yes. So that is basically it on my update of Chico. So my mom got him this toy. He actually really loves it. He loves these type of toys. <laughs> oh my goodness. He loves those type of toys and he likes um like the bones and stuff. He also really likes balls. But you have to be careful with like the tennis balls and stuff because he likes to like rip the tennis ball so I don't even give him that anymore. I like to give him like the hard smooth balls or like the ones that are like this texture so he's not like biting it. So I would say watch out for your shoes. I mean he hasn't ripped up any, any of my shoes because I do keep them away and if I do see him like take someone's like shoes or slippers or something we do take it away from him. So he hasn't had that problem but he does like to dig at the carpet and like bite at the carpet so you gotta watch watch out for that yes um we did get a little gate for my living room so we just block him off through because my living room i have my living room and my kitchen like they're together so we have like a gate in there so when we're in there he can just roam around and it's we can still see what he's doing and stuff like that so you always want to keep an eye on him or her your new pet or whatever look at him <laughs> Yeah, so he's pretty good now. I mean, he does have his times where he's, like, super excited. During the day, he's mostly super excited. And then at night, he's, like, that calm, chill dog. Everyone always talks about how he's so crazy. But at night, they don't see him. Like, he's so sweet. He likes to cuddle. I mean, he sleeps on the bed now, which is a hard... I don't even know how he started doing that. Because when we first had him, he was sleeping on the floor perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden, now he just, like, wants to be on the bed. So even when we put him on the floor, like, you could hear him, like, 
He like scratches the bed so he like and then you just see his little head like this. He's like looking at us like pick me up, hello. So yeah, it's really cute. And he loves to greet everyone that comes in. So since we have the the gate, so he blocks them off from like the living room and the kitchen. There are front doors like right there, so um, every time someone comes in or like my mom gets off of work or in, I get off of work, like he greets you, like his tail's like wagging, he gets so excited. Um, so that's like the best part. I love coming home from work and him greeting me. I think that's so cute and it warms my heart. So yeah, he's just so cute. I love him so much. He's four months old now. I believe the last time we went to the vet, he was five pounds. And when we first got him, I believe he was two pounds. So he is growing. He has his next, his last shots for rabies um, on Wednesday, actually. So he'll be ready for that. Um, what else, Chico? Did it, baby? Yeah, I think that's it that's all I want to update you guys on and let me know how I know you some of you guys have commented like they you're getting like a Yorkie and stuff like let me know how that's going how does your Yorkie puppy act I know like all of them are different obviously they all have their own personalities so I will, I'm very interested to know like if your puppy's like calm or crazy or excited or whatever just let me know in the comments I would love to read them um what? He is too much. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!